uh, uh, Dick and I, uh, R. W. B. Lewis and I, uh, had a project called the James Family about Henry and William James and so on. And we were down at the National Endowment uh, getting dough for. I was writing the scripts and he was writing the book. And uh, we, while we're down there, uh, Dick uh, was called out of the room while we were pitching and. We finished, and uh, afterwards we went out, and we had uh, some coffee. And I said, "Well, I think it went pretty well." Ba ba ba. We're talking for well, about ten minutes, and he said, "Listen, when I was called out of the room, uh, they were telling me that your father had died, and uh, had taken his life, and his and his instructions were that you were not to be told until after the pitch was finished." Um, the uh, just to go into a uh, to be absolutely inappropriate in, in, in describing the kind of torment that uh, some souls are exposed to. Uh, my dad was the only child of the eldest of ten children, and her name, as I say, was uh, Sapwich, her last name, and. Uh, Several of his uncles were, in fact, contemporaries of his, and uh, one of them was even younger than he was. Uh, they were all in the rackets. Uh, but because he was of the next generation, he had to go to college, and he became a very prominent surgeon and a professor of surgery, and, uh, as did my brother, my, my older brother. But he was always drawn to... Uh, he was very frustrated by his professional identity. And we would, in, in August every year, he would take us up to Saratoga to the racetrack where all of his family would congregate. And uh, I remember, you might be old enough to remember this, there was a, the Kefauver hearings, which are dramatized in The Godfather, where, they're test, where the, the Congress is doing an investigation into the mob. And I remember the real Kefauver hearings... I would come home every day. There must, there must have been 25 wise guys living in our house for over a year because my dad would do hernia operations on them so they wouldn't have to go and testify, you know, before the <laughs> Kefauver committee. Um, so it was a very complicated uh, sort of uh, relationship between learning. He, uh, he was a very well recognized surgeon and so on, and, and this other darker part of his personality. And his, his identity as a physician was the sort of civilizing aspect of this. He, you, know, he, uh, you know, my dad was a narcotic addict. He was an alcoholic. He was the, all the stuff that I became. Uh, anyways, towards the end of his life, uh, my brother, who had also become a surgeon and sort of idolized my dad the same way I did, uh, took over my father's care. And my dad would engage in self-mutilation and all sorts of unpleasant things. And in his tormented mind, because his sense of self was so associated with his professional identity as a physician, he became convinced that since my brother had become the caregiver in the family, my brother was having sexual relations with my mother. Oh, God. And took his life in front of them to punish them for that. This and, is worse than Deadwood, Dave. And, uh, uh, and then his last words were, don't tell David until he's done oh. with, with, his, with his pitch.